Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Bwana. Tunaliabudu jina lako. Tunalitukuza jina lako. Asubuhi ya leo fambe tunajiweka mikononi mwako. Wewe ni Mungu na utabaki kuwa Mungu. Asante. Na wasalimu wote katika jina la Yesu. Despite all odds, we are going to serve God. Have passion. Be passionate in serving God. Ribasa kayamu. Na wasalimia wote. Akina Anet, mkiwa kule sehemu za Michigan, US. God bless you. God bless you. Michael, from Kansas, US. God bless you. Pastor Mark, kutoka Botswana. Mungu wa kubariki sana. Na wale wote ambao wana nisikiliza wapendwa tumtumainie bwana Hakuna kinacho tuzuia tutamuita Bwana Let's pray for our, for the word Father in the mighty name of Jesus we come before the holy place. You are a mighty God, you are everlasting King of glory. My Father, we realize who you are. You are everlasting King of glory. You are almighty God. There is no other God beside you, Jehovah. We welcome you in this service, Lord. We come before thee, Jehovah. We open our hearts unto thee, my Father. May you hear us, O God. May we, O God, receive from you. Because you are mighty, you are holy, and you are everlasting. My Father, we grant this session unto thy able hearts, O God. As we praise you, O God. As we glorify your holy name, Jehovah. Shower us with your love, O God. Shower us with the spirit of expectation. O God, from you, Jehovah, we desire, O God, that you touch us once more. We desire, O God, that you give us power to listen into your word. Let your voice, O God, let your word, O God, sustain. Stain us in these hard times, O Lord. You are mighty, you are holy, and you are everlasting. My Father, we worship you. My Father, we glorify your holy name. There is no other God beside you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. My Father, my God. Ninaweka watu wote wanao nisikiliza mikononi mwako Jehovah. Walio katika taifara Kenya na nje ya nchi Jehovah. Buwana wa majeshi kapate kuwabariki mfanme. Wekaro wako mtakatifu dani yao Jehovah. Watembele katika njie isio ya kawaida buwana. Guza maisha yao katika njia isiyo ya kawaida Jehova tunakabidhi nchi yetu mikononi mwako Bwana tunaomba ukatuonekanie fanme katumalizi aya majanga maana wewe ni Mungu tupatie roho ya kukuabudu Jehova tupatie roho ya kunyenyekea chini ya miguu yako Bwana maana hatutaweza bila wewe maana hatutaweza bila mkono wako Jehova na inua mikono yangu Bwana nikibarikisha mtazamaji wangu mahali alipo washa Bwana ukawabariki washa Jehova ukaweke roho ya utiifu ndani yao Jehova hata masaa haya ambapo tunahitaji bwana majeshi kuona mkono wako jehova mungu ishe milele jidhirishe maana wewe ni mungu na utabaki kuwa mungu we thank you jehova and we appreciate your love this morning my father we give you all the glory and all the honor because there is no other god beside you jehova let your word control our lives oh god let us have faith oh god and enough faith oh god to conquer because father the word says it is unrest you watch over a city the watchmen they, they, they do vain work oh 
God. We pray that you wash over us, O God. We pray that you give us an intercessory spirit, O God. We pray, Jehovah, that you give us an understanding to receive your word, O God, and to accept it, Jehovah. We declare salvation in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. I rise against every territorial spirit that is operating against your people, that is cramping down their financial ability in Jesus' name. May you bless them, Jehovah. May you guide them, O Lord. May you, God, give them what it takes to win the battle. Father, I commit this service unto thy able heart, O God. There are those who are washing, O God, and there are those who will wash later, O God. May you bless them, Jehovah. May it count blessing in their life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I welcome you in this service, and I desire that we may we talk about faith and agreement. Faith and agreement. That is something that we desire to have in our lives, because it is unless we agree with God, that is when God will use us. That is when God, when we will receive, when we will receive from God. And that is why today, I want us to talk about the subject matter, about faith and agreement. Agreement also, covenant also, it's another thing. So I come before, the, before thee today in order for, for me to proclaim the word of the Lord unto you. You know what? The Bible, the word of the Lord says in the book of Amos 3 and verse 3, that can two walk together unless they agree. Two cannot walk together unless they agree. And that is, this is how, this is how, how it happened even in Israel, uh, even in Egypt when the children of Israel Israel were being taken away from the, the land of captivity. The, the, the Lord ministered unto them and there is something that they did that caught my sight. You know, they, 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 they moved away for a journey of three days. They went there to seek God. They went there to pray God in the wilderness. I am telling you what they were doing there. It was, they were making an agreement with God. They knew that the journey will not be sweet. They knew the journey will not be favorable but they wanted to have an assurance that God, you will be together with us. That assurance is what we need as a country. That assurance is what we need as people of this Kenya. The, 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 the assurance that God will be together with us despite of what is going, what is going on. Even in across the boundaries of this country globally, we know that, that there is this pandemic that is, that, is, that is killing thousands and thousands of people. But I come to tell you, I come to tell you there is God in heaven. I come to tell you there is God in heaven. You know one thing, when we believe in God, those, those challenges that pose a threat, they become ch not your challenges, but challenges of God. You see, well, there, there is a word of God that says in the, in the, the book of Isaiah, chapter number 59 and verse 19, that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of God shall lift a standard against it. I declare in the name of Jesus, and may the Spirit of God lift a standard against whatever obstacle in your life, against whatever thing that is that is blocking you from, 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 from entering your destiny. This is a time that you need to understand one thing, that God is there, and God is scoring people, intercessors, people who are prayerful, people who are called by the voice of God. The, 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 the God needs you to understand this, to understand this. You need faith. You need faith to understand. And, and, and when the enemy shall come in like a flood, he will lift a standard against. Do you have the Spirit of God? Do you have that capacity inside you that will make God lift a standard against whatever temptation you are facing? Do you have the Spirit of God? Because he, His work is to lift the standard against any obstacle. Today we are dealing with something that is very, very critical. But we have not come into terms that we need God in this nation. You see, there's some things that are beyond human activity. There is this thing that is called the presence of God. That is what we need in our life. We need the presence of God. Reason to me carefully. God, after meeting 
in a tent with Moses and gave him a commission that you are going to take these people out of the, 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 the land of captivity. Moses knew it is not going to be easy, but there's something that he did. He sought God. He knew that the power to do it didn't emanate from his own power, but it emanates from God. It was to come from God. If, and if the power to win will come from God, the only thing that he needed is to hear the voice of God, to heed to the instructions of God. Remember that in every obstacle, in everything that you go through in your life, what you need is the voice of God. What you need is that voice of God. Hallelujah. There is a time we are down spiritually. There is a time we are down financially. There is a time we are down because we cannot make ends meet. Like now we know that the economy of many has been shaken. Even the economy of the most powerful nations has been shaken. But what do we need right now? We need God. I can fish her or I can see the economy of Israel. The moment that Elijah, Elijah was a prophet over Israel and when he saw what was being done. Those people cannot heed to the instructions from God. They did all kinds of evil. They didn't understand the language of God. But what God was to do was to invoke the cast up upon them through Elijah who has passion to God who is that man who is carrying the passion of lifting God even beyond of lifting God even at this uncertain time who is that man may because even even clergy have fallen they are even they, they have lost the favor of God in their life they have lost the consciousness of God in their life but now what are we doing Elijah himself he said when you read in the book of 1 Kings chapter number 17, Elijah said that there will be no rain in a period of three years. He said that, that was the word of Elijah. You know, God will back up every word you speak to, 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 to in order to, to give credit to the kingdom of God. Everything you purpose to do for the sake of kingdom of God, God himself will back it up. Elijah didn't pray, but he said that according to my word, there will be no rain in Israel. We have been mandated in the spirit to guide the nations towards repentance. We need repentance. We need true repentance in our country. After Elijah declared that there will be no rain, that is the time the voice of God came to him. When you have passion in serving God, when you have passion in believing in God, God will speak over your life. I declare today in the name of Jesus that God will speak in your life, that God will speak over your life. Let me tell you, there is one thing that happened when Elijah himself declared that there will be no rain because of the wickedness that was among the, the, the people of Israel. When he declared the voice of God came over him. What did God tell this man? Una kijito cha kelimi utajifisha mahali pale utakuwa unakunywa manji ya kile ya kile kijito na nimeamlisha makunguru watakuwa wanakuletea mkate watakuwa wanakuletea mkate na nyama kila siku nataka niongea mtu leo wewe unaye hangaika unashindwa utafanya nini simamia kusudi la Bwana katika maisha yako simamia kusudi la Bwana katika maisha yako simamia agano la Bwana katika maisha Shayako, Ebuana Kazugumzana Elia, Akamwambia kwa kile umekitenda, kwa vile umejitoa kusema kwa niamba yangu, kwa niamba yangu, kwa niamba ya taifa la Israeli, mimi nitakuokoa. Neno la Bwana linasema kutoka hapo, jaa ikapatikana Israeli, watu waliumia, watu waliteseka, lakini neno la Bwana linasema, Elia alikimbia akajificha, mahali karibu na kijito cha kelili, akawa na kunywa maji ya kile kijito akawa na lishwa na kunguru nasema ya kwamba wakati ambapo tutaacha kutumainia biashara zetu kutumainia watoto wetu 
kutumainia kazi zetu wodi wakati ambapo Mungu na uwezo wake utashuka juu ya maisha yetu kama Elia alilishwa na Mungu miaka mitatu na nusu wewe ni nani Mungu asikuishe wewe ni nani Mungu asikuvishe naongea na mtu ambaye amepoteza ufahamu naongea na mtu ambaye amefika mwisho mtu ambaye wimbo wake ni kwamba biashara imeharibika mtu ambaye wimbo wake ni kwamba mimi nimeachwa na Mungu ni kuambia ya kwamba simamia kusudi la Bwana katika maisha yako wanaweza wakakusema vibaya wanaweza wakakuinukia wanaweza wakapanga maovu kinyume na maisha yako lakini nataka niongee na mtu leo ni kuambie simamia kusudi la Bwana ora masaya limakaya simamia kusudi la Bwana katika maisha yako Elia akalishwa na kunguru Elia akakunywa maji katika muda usiojulikana I want to talk about God who changes not he is God of seasons he is God of times and seasons nataka niongee na mtu ambaye kuna mahali ulikuwa umetegemea lakini maji yamekatika kuna mahali ulikuwa umetegemea lakini kazi imekatika kuna mahali ulikuwa umetegemea kibarua kuna tena nataka nikutie nguvu asubuhi ya leo nikwambie inua macho yako mtazame Bwana kuna wakati pia ulifika mtumishi wa Bwana Elijah nabii wa Bwana Elijah e maji yakaisha na kakuna kunguru aliyekuja tena ndio alikuwa namlishwa na Mungu ikafika wakati hiyo msaada ikakatika wakati mwingine Mungu anaweza katisha msaada katika maisha yako ili kusudi usikilize neno lake ili kusudi usikilize instructions kutoka kwa Bwana na e Bwana akamwambia inuka mahali hapa uende nimeandaa mwanamke mmoja mchunemu atakulisha Elia akaondoka akaenda kwa yule mwanamke nataka niongee na maisha yako there is god who changes not but he changes situation when Elijah moved to that area there was a woman who was desperate there was a woman who was fighting for survival there was a woman who did not know what to do he has reached his end he has reached his final moment and he was contemplating about death death was uh, was was certain in in his life but i'm telling you one one thing today maybe you are contemplating suicide wherever you are i want to speak to your life today maybe you are you are walking at uncertainty i want to i want to talk to you to your life today this woman has reached this end huyu mwanamke amefika mwisho hajui afanye nini naongea na mtu leo umefika mwisho unaona kipato hakuna tena ushumi wako umezorota nataka nizungumze neno la tumaini ndani ya maisha yako huyu mama akakutana na huyu mzee ninaongea katika roho utakutana na mtu leo utakutana na mtu leo atakayebadilisha maisha yako nataka nikwambie destiny huaziko katika migongo ya watu destiny huaziko katika mikono ya watu kuna watu ambao wamewekwa destiny destiny yako imewekwa ndani ya maisha yao na ni lazima ujiunganishe na wao ndio ufanikiwe yawezekana usione mafanikio leo lakini nataka nikwambie kuna neema inayotoka ndani ya mtu ambaye Bwana amempaka mafuta Elia kaenda kukutana na yule mama akamwambia nipikie yule mama akachanganyikiwa akashindwa huyu mzee anaongea nini akamwambia nimebakisha kaunga kadogo nipike mimi na mwanangu tule tufe kwa hivyo hiyo ndio ilikuwa stori yake ni kula na kufa hakukuwa na tumaini ya kuona kesho lakini akamwambia Elijah akamwambia nipikie nile ninaonda mtu abaye anaona katika roho manake mambo mengine hauwezi ukayafanya usipokuwa ndani ya roho hauwezi ukayafanya usipokuwa na Mungu ndani ya maisha yako ilikuwa ni decision gumu sana kwa yule mama lakini akaamua kuifanya kuna watu wataamua kufanya maamuzi mazito sana wakati wa corona kuna watu watafanya maamuzi yasiyo ya kawaida kuna watu watagaramika lakini i'm telling you you are sowing a seed to your family you are sowing a seed to your children you are sowing a seed to your future business because there is god in heaven we are continuing to have faith in god we will continue to rise above every limitation because there is god wakati elia alikula kutoka kwa mkono wa yule mama neno la mungu linasema ya kwamba kile kishupa cha mafuta akikukatika mafuta tena akabwana anasema ya kwamba kile kishupa akikukatika mafuta tena wala ile unga haikuisha tena na zungumza na maisha yako wakati Mungu atakusustain kuna 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 season unahitaji grace ya Mungu kuna season ambapo uchumi hauendi biashara haiendi neno la Bwana linasema yule bwana mke walikula mpaka mvua iliponyesha tena nataka niongee kuna grace period Mungu ameiweka kwa maisha yako kuna vitu ni lazima utavifanya kuna imani lazima utasimama kwayo ili kusudi upate msingi wa kukuendeleza e katika ma, katika nyakati hizi ngumu bwana 
azidi kuinua maisha yako bwana azidi kukutembelea katika njia yako tunapoendelea na hii ibada ninajua kuna mtu wa mahali unaona nikana kwamba umefinyilika unaona nikana kwamba umefika mwisho nataka niongee na wewe oh lama shaya let me speak deep in your spirit let me give you hope let me give you an encouragement that god is going to do something new he you are lie in the book of psalms 121 and verse 1 uh, the david was praying and he says that i lift up my eyes whence my unto the lord where my help comes my help comes from the lord who makes heaven and earth nitayainua macho yangu nitazame juu milimani msaada wangu utatoka wapi msaada wangu utatoka kwa bwana aliyeziumba bingu na nchi msaada wako utatoka kwa bwana sijui ni mahali gani umefika sijui ni nini kinao kina, 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 kinaonyesha ni kama kina, kinajinua kinyume na maisha yako nataka niongee na maisha yako nataka nizungumze na nafsi yako nikwambie kuna Mungu anayeweza nikwambie kuna Mungu anayeweza who is that in secret place let me tell you what did israelites did what did they do israelites they stood and they declared that we are going to worship the lord despite of what we are going through they decided we are going to sacrifice them. they went three days journey in the wilderness they sacrificed them and they and they stood firm and they said god we know you are liberating us we know you are taking us to a promised land it has been years our fathers has been born here but today god you are taking us somewhere i am telling you my dear brother my dear sister there is a place that god is taking you to start farm why i asked myself why did the children of israel go into the wilderness to worship their own they went there because they wanted to have a, an agreement with god the word of the lord in the book of amos 3:3 says that two cannot move together unless they agree there was an agreement between the children of israel and god and that is why when they were moving out and that is why when they were moving out of the the, the the out of out of the the land of captivity Moses cried unto the Lord and told God Jehovah we are not moving out of this place without your presence we gonna not move without your presence let me tell you my dear brother and my dear sister the presence of God is what that matters the presence of God is what that matters when you go through challenges and you have the presence of God you will win when you move through hardships and you carry the presence of God you will win when they reject you and you have the presence of God you will win the presence of God matters a lot in your life and this is what happened my dear brother and my dear sister they told god we don't want to go to promised land but we want your presence without your presence we are nothing i want to tell you even success without the presence of god is nothing success without the presence of god is nothing it is a mere human activity in your business you need the presence of god in your family you need the presence of god in your endeavors you need the presence of god and that is why they cried and god gave them assurance through the sacrifice they made in the wilderness and that is why why because they knew that the journey will not be too good sometimes a journey of liberation is not too sweet sometimes you have to either go a lot of hardships when god is molding you when god is making you when you are in the process of of making you will go through hardships I want to tell you my dear brother there is God in heaven no matter what you are going through God is going to make you start no matter what you are going through God is to make you rise again you are going to rise again I declare in the name of Jesus the spirit that rose the the, the spirit that 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 lows Jesus from the dead it is going to make everything that is dead in your life to rise again in the name of Jesus lama sakaya bosikara bosaya i want to declare that whenever you are washing me god will bless you god will will we 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 will keep you no matter what you are going through no matter the hardships no matter the impacts of this pandemic i believe there is lemnant may you be lemnant i declare whoever who is under the out of my voice corona will not be your portion corona will not be the portion of your family god will protect you not because you are good but because you believe in him it is time that we believe in god it is time that we rise up and stand rekayabosa god is going to do something god is going to lift us god is going to give us ability to overcome every problem in our life every problem in our life we are going to dedicate it to god may 
God help us in everything. May God give us a new, a new lease of life as we continue, as we undergo problems. Let us know one thing, that there is God in heaven. Every territorial spirit in your life, I rise against it in Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit that is rifting itself against your family, I rise against it in the name of Jesus. I pray for you financially. I pray for your financial status in Jesus' name. At this hour, at this moment, there is God who is able. The word of the Lord reminds me that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we ask. God, may you, may you, may you bless. May you bless us, O oh Lord. May you anoint us once more, God. May we stand by the purpose that you gave us, O oh Lord. May we stand, O oh God, to kayatekeleze makusudi yako mungu. Wewe ni mwaminifu na hakuna kama wewe. Mahali popote mpedu wana nisikiliza. Buwana majeshi na tumane no lako. Na tuma uwepo wako mahali pale. Kama kuna magonjo wa jehova mungu ishe mbilele. Buwana majeshi ni naongea uponyaji mahali pale. Buwana ni naongea uponyaji kwa kupigwa kwa kristo msarawani. Naongea neema ya ushindi. Naongea baraka za buwana mahali pale. Katika jina la yesu kristo mwana mungu alie hai. Mapepo yote yanao jindua kinyume na maisha yako. Leo ni naeteketeza na moto walo mtakatifu. Katika jina la yesu kristo mwana mungu alie hai. You may not understand about what is going on spiritually. But I want to tell you that there is some things that we need to understand about this virus. It is the fight between evil and good. It is fight between Antichrist and those people who are dedicated to God. When you are dedicated to God, they will lie against you. Before... I wind up this session. What was the intention of this virus? Why was it that, 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 that this thing has to cripple a lot of nations' economy? Let me tell you, my brother, let, let me tell you, my sister, that whenever we are, we need an understanding that is more spiritual than we than we know when this virus was laboratory made what was the meaning you need to know this secret you need to understand the faculty behind this virus it is a fight between the evil and good it is a way and a channel that is being programmed in order for the Antichrist to rule the world. Do you know a country that is known as United States of America? It is a powerful nation. Can you, you can ask yourself, why is it that it is the most hate nation? There's a secret behind it. You know, Antichrist cannot survive without a powerful nation. And Antichrist... It will come behind the systems and the strong political, military, health systems. They will have to do what it takes to control every area so that they can take the world in their hand. And this is what they were doing. They wanted America. But now the problem is that Republicans want the election Again, it's what they wanted. Republic, Republican is a party that is in leadership in the United States of America, and, and it's a godly form. It's a it's, it's godly system. And they have two systems that is Democrat. Democrat is an ungodly system, and it was one that was being used. And that is why you see, and you do a research that whenever a Republican is leading that nation, there's a lot of things that happens. W Trade Center was bombed when Republicans were on the throne. George Bush, was, when he was on the throne, he was a Republican. And there was a war between Iraq and the United States of America. Why? Because they want to do something to cripple, to make people discredit their government because of some issues. So that, and now they could not do it because American slogan is in God we trust. So they have the ability in trusting God. They have, they pray a lot. And that is why they could not find a way to use America as their epitome to make this thing come out.
And now what could they do? They started empowering an ungodly nation, a nation that, can, that doesn't know God, and that is China. China is an ungodly nation, and that is why it has the backup from other nations that are ungodly like Russia. And that is why their intention was to cripple the economy of the U.S. and rise up to be the superpower, and that will be the beginning. They will administer everything that they want through China because they want the country whereby they will lay their formulas and their agendas to be approved because it's a superpower. My brothers, my sisters, this is the time that we need to pray. This is the time that we need to release ourselves to God. We pray for Kenya because there is a fight between systems, good and evil system. I am telling you, this is the time we need to understand. This is the time, members of prayer, we need to wake up. We need to rise up beyond any other level to pray, to fast, and, and to dedicate ourselves unto God. As I wind up, I want to caution you, my dear brother and my dear sister. Let us be prayerful. Let us not cease in praying. Why? Because... Always I know that God has lifted you and has lifted me with a purpose. You can be a prophet, it is a calling. You can be an intercessor, it's a calling. You can be a giver, it's a calling. Whatever God has called you to do, do it diligently. What God is looking is dedicated people. Dedicate yourself to serving God, no matter the hardships. Hardships will come. And that is why Paul was talking to Timothy in Timothy chapter 4 and, and verse number 2. And he told him, be productive in season and out of season. Preach the gospel in season and out of season. Some seasons will not allow you to preach gospel. Fight platform, garamika. Ujue ya kwamba umetimiza kusudi la buwana katika maisha ya kwayo mengine muachie mungu Buwana kubaliki sana maana masa yetu ya meisha Tukutane tena kwa mafundisho zaidi Washa ni kuombe na mungu wa kubaliki Baba mungu ishimle utawala milele na nyenyekea chini ya migu yako Nalitukuza na kulinua china lako buwana Na mkabidhi mtazamaji wangu Buwana majeshi mikononi mwako Kamte tena ukampiganie mana wewe ni mungu Nyosha mkono wako urihodali juu ya maisha yake jehova Mtangulizi, mtangulia katika kila jambo chewa mungu ishimlele Mte tena umlinde Na mzingira ye na familia yake na damu yesu kristu Moto waro mtakatifu kawe juu yake fanme Ukamtimizie mema katika maisha yake Buwana anapoomba ukamsikie Buwana majeshi uka walinde na ukawatetema na wewe ni mungu wana majeshi mungu ishe milele na omba uwepo wako na neema yako ikatembe na wao haleo na hata milele kwa jina la yesu kristu ni miombata na kuwamini shalom mungu wa kubariki na uwe na juma pili jema tukutane tena badai god bless you